interpreting a new trainer, Joe Santiago. And in Claudio's corner, a four in Ore and down goes Claudio. It looked like it was kind of a short left hook. There was a cut on land, which was just a solid powerful left jab, as I said, but it just caught it good at the right time. Both fighters still operating behind very tight defenses. One minute into round two. Many judges respond mostly to punch count. Yeah, but it's, but Claudio still to me, he's a much more precision and accurate punch in this fight. Yeah. And the body punch that Claudio shoots is more effective. He shoots the hook. Which he's totally abandoned earlier. Right, right. Cotto may have been thumbed in the eye. Oh, no, it's kind of can see where the butt occurred. As you see, they're coming together. They had a collision right there. And Blood beginning to stream from Cotto's left eye again. Joe Chavez momentarily had it stopped, but now Claudia has gotten it going again by landing a right hand up there. More activity in the fight. Cotto seems to feel a sense of urgency, and Claudia will respond in kind. And Cotto, feeling the urgency, targets the body of Joshua Claudia. But, but and Claudio Claudio comes back with a great left hook to the body and a terrific. Good shot in the middle of that combination by Cotto. Cotto's best chance of hurting Claudio. I say this. Good combination by Cotto. And again, Max is right. He can't see the right hand coming, so he stepped away. Uppercut by Claudio. Good left hook by Cotto. Crowd is trying to lift the spirits of the Puerto Rican fighter. You see right here, the, not just the, the cut that came from the beginning, with the, but, but the accuracy of the punches and the variety of punches that Claudio is doing, which is making it so difficult for Cotto to get out of the way. And given that, Cotto may feel he's up on the cards, and the severity of the cut, and the way the rules operate, where it's in Cotto's advantage, it could be about the Margarito thing. In fact, Claudio painting Cotto with right hand here. Well, no one wants to fight Joshua Claudio, let alone with a bad cut over his eye. Good tackle by Cotto. Claudio came at him. Now, theoretically, Joshua Claudio would get five minutes. First one of the fight. McCanty just watches and notes it. Left hook and a straight right hand by Cotto. He seems to be gaining a little confidence now. Yeah. Claudio is much less mobile than before. Cotto's trapping him against the ropes. Well, we saw what Cotto has did in these situations in the past. He's not changing. Good straight right hand upstairs by Cotto. Got it through the guard. Claudio's right hand is losing steam. Excellent uppercut by Cotto. Claudio tries to come back with a big right hand. Caught Cotto, or caught Claudio on the chin. If, if Claudio stays over there, he's going to be in trouble. But sooner or later... Right hand by Claudio. And boy, are they fighting. But Claudio's legs are hurt. He has to go right back to the ropes again. What a chin Cotto has. Cotto has Claudio cornered in the corner. And, you know, dealing with these type situations, we have saw in the past that Cotto can, Cotto can deal with this. I don't know if Claudio... ...to Joshua Claudio. It got wet on that Takate sign in Cotto's corner. His feet came out from under him. Pours physically and push Claudio back to the ropes. Uh, as I said this earlier, catch it when he's coming in, punching. Hard right hand by Claudio, giving Cotto a beating in this round. Hard right hand against that cut eye. Claudio landing a beautiful straight right hand, which just was typical how he dominated the round with accurate pinpoint punches. For the most part, anyway. that's why he doesn't do too much and, and, and loses his balance off. Oh. Miguel Cotto can't see any right hands come. And there, reserve Cotto's left eye. I think you're right. Another right hand by Clotty, and again, Margarito affair at this moment. Hard right hand by Clotty. Remember, that cut was caused by an accidental butt. This is what will bring the crowd back. Miguel has been throwing a lot of punches. Most of his punches are blocked for the most part by Clotty. And that's why you see Clotty comes back and shakes his head, goes, his defense has been extremely, extremely good. I'm concerned because he's getting caught with those right hands. 
And, you know, it, it, the leg problem that Cotter is supposed to have, but it doesn't seem like he decided to cut up. <laughs> and there's a knockdown in round one. And we're only in round nine. So it's still reasonably close, one way or the other. when he's punching and make him exchange with him and try to catch him with his head over the left hook. I if he agree. Draws it, I think he's did it already for us. I'm concerned. I, Good right that's hands for both fighters in that exchange. There you go. He's got a turn. Since leaving the Sydney Olympics in 2000, in eight years as a professional fighter, he has brought to bear which man wants it more. And incidentally, at the beginning of the evening, I asked Emmanuel Stewart. There's going to be a beef from Claudia if he doesn't win because he looks like the winner. Good left hook. Unquestionably, Cotto leads in the round because Claudia hasn't thrown enough. 30 seconds. 